there are many different kinds of actions that are morally wrong. But is there an ultimate moral principle, one that can explain why all of these different kinds of actions are wrong? According to the 18th century philosopher Immanuel Kant, there is. Kant's moral system is deontological. That means it's not about the specific consequences of our actions. It's about moral rules and duties. Kant argues that all of our moral duties can be summed up by an ultimate moral principle, which he calls the categorical imperative. There are several formulations of the categorical imperative, but we'll look at what's called the universal law formulation. It says, act only according to that maxim by which you can at the same time will that it should become a universal law. That's not exactly straightforward, so let's break it down. First, what is a maxim? And second, what does it mean to will that a maxim should be a universal law? We are rational beings, and we act in ways that help us accomplish our goals. So a maxim is simply a description of your action and what you're aiming to achieve by performing that action. We can use the following template to state our maxims. In order to blank, I will blank. For example, consider the following case. Suppose I want money and I decide that in order to get it, I'll ask someone if I can borrow it. I promise to pay them back, but I actually have no intention of paying them back. In that case, my maxim would be, in order to get something I want, I will make a false promise. Now that we know what a maxim is, what does it mean for a maxim to be a universal law? It just means that the maxim is still rational to use even if everyone else in the world were using it too. So when Kant says you must act only on maxims that are universalizable, he's saying you must act only on principles that are still rational when everyone is using them. In order to see whether our maxims pass this test, we can use our imagination. My maxim was, in order to get something I want, I will make a false promise. Now imagine a world where everyone used this maxim, without exception. Any time someone wanted something from someone else, they would lie in an effort to get it. In that world, would it still be rational for me to act on that maxim? It seems not, for in that world, no one would trust me since everyone lies all of the time. My false promises would be useless so my maxim would not work. This means that I cannot will that my maxim become a universal law because my maxim would no longer be rational if it were a universal law. What this means then is that making false promises is morally wrong because it fails the categorical imperative. It's important to note that Kant is not simply saying lying has bad consequences or how would you like it if someone lied to you? He's saying that my action is irrational in a certain sort of way because it's not based on a principle that all rational beings could use. And according to Kant, all moral rules can be derived in this way from this ultimate moral principle, from the categorical imperative. So the next time you act, ask yourself, what is my maxim? And would it still be rational for me to act on this maxim if everyone else did it too?